What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 50. 50. Episode 50 of our Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke. Last time we took on the 8th Gym Badge here in Hoenn, earning the final Gym Badge that we needed with a reconstructed team after losing an elite member. And today we're going to be making our way through the Victory Road or to Victory Road, where however far we get. If you do wind up having fun during this episode, you should already know what to do. Let's get into it with the team recap. <clears throat> Now, as I said, our team has been reconstructed, so if you missed the last episode, this is going to be a bit of an update, <clears throat> but I'm going to go through it quick. First, we have Aode, our level 51, Flying Psychic type Breloom, holding the Mind Plate, Hasty Nature with Filter, with Psychic Fly Return and Seed Flare. Then we have Friar, the indestructible, the next eligible member for the Elite Squad, our level 51 water fighting type Rapid Ash, holding the Wide Lens, Lax Nature with Own Tempo, with Octazooka, Rock Smash, Spore, and Confuse Ray. Next we have Jaya, the God, Iron Plate with Grass Steel type, with Quiet Nature, with Shell Armor, which I need to remember, I can't be crit, with Iron Head, Seed Bomb, Thunder Fang, and Leech Seed. Then we have Nadia, the only surviving member of the Elite Squad. Our level 50 Poison Normal type Palkia holding the Choice Band with Bashful Nature with Flash Fire with Cross Poison, Body Slam, Rock Climb, and Fly. Next we have Savon, the level 52 Water type Mew holding the Splash Plate. Relax Nature with Soundproof and 101 hit points. Don't ever disrespect him again. He has Bubble Beam, Giga Drain, Hydro Cannon, and Seed Flare. And then we have Kree, our level 50 ground fire type Zatu holding the flame paint, modest nature with vital spirit, fire punch, payback, surf, and toxic. That's our squad. I think we're leading Aode and we're off. Today we're going to be hitting Victory Road. So the question of the day today is quite simply, what do you think is the most challenging Victory Road? Hey, Domino, what the? You ain't got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh. Aw, oh, you, that's wicked. I envy you. But don't think you've won, because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You want me. Before I was dreaming, I just wanted to be like my dad. Now things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're going to get tougher one step at a time. I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. But not just a whole, not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard. Nah, no, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. You know what's funny about that? Hold on, Jasmine, just a second. You say that you're not behind me, but things that I've been doing for the last two years are still way ahead of what you just did this year. Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share everything, anything and everything with. A person you compete with about fighting. Um, it made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may be odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but... A hidden machine contains waterfall, blah blah blah. Um, I, I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. Hold on, I gotta talk through this because I was talking with Neighbor about this earlier today. I wasn't so sure how, why Jasmine's here. But she's here in the Lighthouse City. And Volkner is an electric type trainer. She has an Amphros. Are they linked? Are they a thing? Alright, real quick what I'm gonna do before we go on, I have not gotten an encounter in this town. I need to actually hold on, let me double check that I'm still in town. I most certainly am. So here we go. I don't have a super ride. I don't know where you get the super ride here. Nice and glitched. Alright, so our Sunny Shore City encounter is... Asidra. 
Okay. It has Intimidate. Today we're going to be catching a lot of Pokemon. We haven't really had encounters recently. Uh, I just got home from playing Pokemon Go. Uh, had a Pogo night. Neighbor and I went and captured a ton of stuff. We have Outrage. That could, I mean, that could low-key be really good. But I need you to stay in the ball. Alright, fine. stay or you're gonna kill yourself I, I, whichever one you want I really don't care I, I really don't care it doesn't bother me yeah that's what I thought you jerk all right uh, behind random name generator we have Cedra the flying type dragon Pokemon its spines provide protection its fins and bones are prized as traditional machine medicine ingredients what its name is going to be i'm so excited to not be doing random name generators in the next series that we're doing which i'm just about to get some graphics made for that i'm actually not going to be making them myself this time i don't have the time to make them and i'm not as good as i want to be I want something that's really good. Like, I feel like our emerald graphics were really good. I feel like I hit the nail. I, I feel like I just did a good job on those. Platinum, I, I don't feel the same way. That's just me being honest. Okay, that's just me being honest. So, I'm just gonna start having someone else do it. Now we find a Shinx. Shinx is our encounter. I'm gonna let it hurt itself a bit. While I evaluate, oh god. You have no attack stat whatsoever. Woo! That's terrible. You have no attack stat whatsoever. Alright. Masculine. Its name will be... Whoops, I forgot. Burn it! I hate when I do that. Its name will be another M. Is it Marlog? I think it's Marlog. Hold on, let me go check out Marlog real quick. I don't think we're going to be changing up the team anymore unless we absolutely need to. Flying type, quiet nature with intimidate, with pursuit, wish, double slap, and outrage. We have Aura Sphere, Ember, False Swipe, and Bullet Punch with an attack stat of 11. It does have hustle. Hold nature. I mean, it's going to change. That's fighting type. What if that was the reincarnation of Sholofella? It's a possibility. I'm just saying. It's a possibility. So let's make our way up here and let's talk about victory roads. Now, we said our question was like, what's what do you think the most difficult victory road was? And I think that actually should be a really easy answer for mo for everybody. Um, I think that should be like an extremely easy answer. <laughs> I got nervous. I saw Frenzy Plant. I got so nervous. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, Gen 1 Victory Road. I can't think of Fire Red Leaf Green Victory Road. Was it the same and I just don't remember it for whatever reason? Oh, that's right. Now, what type was this thing? I don't remember, but I'm gonna go Cree. Something tells me that I'll be able to get it. 
Three, stop it. Yeah, let's not. I'm gonna go Jaya. I guess the only way we're gonna beat this thing is to stall it out. Jaya is the king of stall. What's this type? I need to try and remember this. You have a mining? Goodbye! Jaya, you're not one-hitting stuff. I need you to be one-hitting stuff, Jaya. You're, you're expected to be an elite member. What do we think about the fact that a Rapidash is about to be considered an elite squad member? Are we okay with that? Are we okay with that as a, as a whole? But anyway, I think, ooh, we could have had a Fionn. Could have had a Fione. Fione, Fion. What's this way? Fake tears. TM69 fake tears. There's a joke in there somewhere. There's a joke in there somewhere. Anyway. Generation 1 Victory Road was... It was good at the time? I think it's kind of... I feel like now it's way too easy. So I feel like, I guess what I'm trying to say is it didn't age well. I think that's the saying that people use. It didn't age well. All right, I need something faster up front. All right, Ao, let's go. All right. Is this a double battle? Is this a double battle? Sweet, let's go. I'm down for a double battle. Let's use two of the two new guys. Use the two newbies. Let's go, Ao. Let's go, Cree. Show me what you got. This is your initiation battle. Ah, one down. Two down! Okay, things got a little more difficult now. Switch targets. Switch sides. Okay, good job. Draco Meteor. Okay. The good news is I don't have to worry about that anymore. Draco Meteor will do less. Let's go, Kree! I'm gonna use return on muck and I'm gonna fire punch the video. Okay. Very nice. Let's see how much return actually does. Huh? Okay. Kree has proven himself. I was worried about picking up Kree. Because, like, who uses a Zatu? Nobody uses a Zatu. I was worried about picking up a Kree. I wasn't so much worried about Breloom, but he's the one that's struggling a bit right now. My heart! My heart! Yeah, let's just, let's just stop. Let's just stop. Let's just stop for a second. You know, I don't know why this just popped back in my head, but oh my god, look at all these trainers. And I don't know what it is about people interrupting me in the middle of recording Platinum the last two days. I was just fighting this guy, and the battle, I definitely had to cut that out because the phone rang, I kept battling, expecting it to just be a... Just like it was last time. It actually wound up being a phone call that I had to take. But anyway, we're continuing on. I don't remember anything that we were talking about. Uh, I, have, I have no idea. 
All I know is that... Oh, I think we were talking about Victory Roads, weren't we? And how, like, the first Victory Road didn't really age well. And what I mean by that is when you play through Victory Road now, it's really easy. I'm nervous. I feel like something bad is going to happen because I had to put a cut in. I mean, that could do it. I should have taken that turn to switch. I don't know why I'm so nervous all of a sudden. I feel like something bad is going to happen. Let's just put everything to sleep. I don't want to play. I don't want to play games. Absol is pretty strong. If I were to get an Absol, I need to remember that. Not that I think our team's gonna make too many changes from now on, but um, what do I, I keep? I keep starting and then stopping. What I'm saying. Um, Gen one, Victory Road. Gen two, Victory Road is even more of a joke. I don't really remember this victory road, so that tells me it's not really that much. Um, Jen, did the time just change? It did, okay. I was wondering why my screen changed, but I realized that the time changed. Got an oval stone. Do I still have a master ball? I think I do, don't I? I think I still have one of my master balls left. Also, we're level 53. That's actually kind of wild. That's actually kind of wild. All right, let's go into Jaya. We'll let Jaya carry us through the rest of the episode. Uh... Gen 5... I feel like I feel like the Gen 5 Victory Road wasn't too bad. Uh, you are dark fighting. I knew you were going to get that. I knew you were going to get it. I feel like Spark has a much higher Ability to paralyze another move. Now I need waterfall. And also, this episode has taken almost as long as we haven't even done anything in Victory Road. Water. Oh! 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 oh, oh. We can finally. Oh, that makes us so much better. Wait, have I, did I already make it here? Wait. Okay, I'm not ready for all that. All right, Pokemon League. I can get a Pokemon League encounter. Briar, let's go. Our Pokemon League encounter is an execute. Speaking of execute, in Pokemon Go, I caught a ton of these tonight. Way more than I would care to admit. I caught so many of these things. Because apparently, this thing is like, really good. Alright, we have Execute the Flying Poison Egg Pokemon. Its six eggs converse using telepathy. Telepathy. They can quickly gather if they become separated. I was about to... I don't know what I was about to say, but... We simply have Iris. We were just speaking about 5th Gen. I feel like 5th Gen's... Victory Road... Wasn't bad. I feel like it wasn't bad. 
Gen 6 is Victory Road. I personally really like Gen 6 is Victory Road. A lot of people say they don't like Gen 6 is Victory Road. I personally like it. Flying Poison, Brave Nature, White Smoke, Milk Drink, Gyro Ball, Poison Powder, Gunk Shot. Flying Poison, that's, I mean, on paper that's not bad. Let's head off. We got time for one more encounter. What's up with this music? What's up with this music? I don't know, let's head in here. Okay, this is our first encounter. It is an... Octillery! Alright, you should be able to live Rock Smash unless you're weak against it. Turns out it's super effective against you. You know, I really hope... Turn! Now! Mirror coat. Alright. I think it's oh, I think it's safe for me. I'm gonna switch back into Jaya. When it gets to level 53. Oof. I don't know how much longer we're gonna go into this. Monferno, 47. Why is Aeod in? Why is Aeod in? That is not who I put in. Not who I remember putting in, I guess. Dark type. He went for Hyper Beam. Get me out of here. He's gonna use an electric move. I called that one. I called that one. I've learned. Is this a fire punch war? Oh, he used mirror move. I think we're gonna wrap up shortly. Uh, let's finish talking about... That's too risky. Okay. I, you know, I'm just happy that my brain said, wait. My brain said, hold on just a second. That's really risky. That's how my brain needs to be playing. Lasercurn! If I wouldn't have been able to run and would have just lost AO'd. I think the issue right now is that it's late at night. I could have caught a Blaziken. That's been my third and fourth encounter. I could have caught a Reg Ice. I could have caught a Reg Ice. All right, we're about to. I could have caught a Haunch Crow. All right, we're about to wrap up. We're about to wrap up for the day, yeah. Let's make this our last battle. I wanted to do something, something related to Victory Road. We're gonna wrap up the episode right there. Today, all we did was make our way from Sunny Shore City up to the Victory Road. Um, we didn't really finish talking about it, so. I think Gen 6 is Victory Road. I personally really like Gen 6 Victory Road. And then I think Gen 7 Victory Road in Ultra Sun and Moon was pretty good. But to me, the most difficult Victory Road is by far Gen 3. The Hoenn Victory Road is by far the hardest. I think second would be second or sixth gen. And then fifth gen, first gen. So three. Uh, three, six, five, one. Three, six, five, one. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. We will see you in the next episode. Thank you for your time. Until then, have a uh, until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.